Hi guys, welcome back. It's Don Wazzy here. In today's video, I give you the Scavok Peace Control practice map. Before we get into the video, I just want to give a big shout out to all the coaches that help give feedback on this map. All their Twitters will be on the screen right now and their links will be in the description. And also make sure you stick around until the end of the video because Coach Cove is going to be taking you through every scenario step by step and showing you the most optimal way to practice this map. So you don't want to miss that. Shout out to Coach Cove. Also, I want to thank everyone that follows me on my socials or supports me using the Support Creator Code. It goes a very long way into making new maps and content for you guys. So thank you very much. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Ooh, yeah, yeah. This about me. This about me, not about you. All about me. All about me, yeah. This is my life. In case you don't like, ayy, fuck how you feel She said I'm right, ayy, that's some real I'm living my life, oh, like this a deal Karma's a bitch and she ready to feast Every we hate it, she talk about me Keeping my head up on top of the clouds Only time that I'm feeling relief Only time that I'm reaching my dreams Is when I'm gone and I'm falling asleep What's up everybody, this is Coach Cove And today I'm going to be running you through all of these drills And all of the best practices to complete on this map Let's get right into it for this first drill, you're going to want to start out by placing the cone first and then the floor. You can go for the edits right away, placing a cone and then two walls and then looking for the shot. The other option is after placing the cone, jump up, place a floor and a wall, make a top right corner edit like this, and then go for the piece control again. This wall is going to keep you a little bit more protected than if you just went uh, for a more straightaway angle like this. So anytime you can get a little bit of an extra advantage, it's usually a good thing. For this second drill, you're going to want to place the wall right away and then make a protected edit where you can place a cone. A window edit like this where the opponent has no angle on you is really great. And then you can come to the side, place walls, and then take a shot. For this third drill, you're going to want to start out by placing the cone and then the floor. You can go for this edit right away to take these walls and then take the shot. Make sure that you crouch underneath this stair in order to get some extra protection. Here, you're going to start out by placing the cone first, making sure that they can't move out vertically, placing the wall in front, and then full boxing without opening up an edit that your opponent can walk through. Usually this is gonna be their ramp and they could just flip it and simply walk straight out at you and get a shot. Instead, once we full box them, come out to the side and that's where we wanna take our shot. You're gonna wanna start out this drill by placing two ramps above the opponent and then making a window edit behind the ramp to fully box the opponent. Most opponents are going to be ready for this edit here and they're gonna look right at you to take the shot. So instead of doing that, you're gonna wanna come out to the top place a stair back here and then go for the shot, or you can come to the top and make a double edit like that. Anything that they aren't going to be ready for. On this drill, you're going to be doing a triple edit, and instead of making a big edit, it's always smarter to edit a window and then fully box the opponent. This way you can use it as a right-hand peek and really protect yourself as you're going for the shots. For this drill, get real close to the wall and then place your own make the edit and place a cone. You're going to want to jump here and shoot and only place the side and back walls after you take that shot. Here you have a lot of options. The first of which is to come up and just take the floor and the cone and then take this angle from up top on the bot. But you can also use this to practice any number of box fighting setups. For example, this one to the side that Arkham always uses or you can come off to the side with some cones like this and then actually make the play through the wall. Any of these are great options and it's just really important to practice variety uh, on this drill. Here you're going to do a high wall 180 and instead of making a big open edit like that, you're going to want to edit a window across from wherever the bot is so that they don't have an angle and then do the piece control where they can't even shoot you. Now you can go in and take a right hand peek. That will let you do much more damage in a much safer way. Here we're gonna be doing a side jump and the first thing is to jump up, place all of these high walls, land on a floor, jump up onto a stair, and then make an edit to place the cone and then the walls behind the bot. From there you can just take an easy right hand peek and that's it. 
Here you're gonna wanna come through, place a floor and a cone, edit the floor, place the walls, and then edit the cone. From here, you can edit a window, place cones above and below, and then walls to the side, and then use the window to get a right-hand peek on the bot. As you come up to this cone, place these walls in front and to the side, and then for the side jump, you're going to want to place the walls in front of the bot first, like that, and then land on this floor. From here, you can make an edit, place cones in a wall, and then take the shot, but I recommend doing a window edit to place the walls in the cone instead, so you can take an easy right-hand peek, and the bot can't run out at you. In this drill, we're going to be practicing completing a mongrel classic on this first wall retake and then placing a wall off to the side to prevent reboxing. So spray the wall with your AR and then take it, place this wall out to the side at the same time, and then come back and edit the right side bottom four corners before placing the stair. This is going to let you use this part of the wall as a right hand peek, and then you can edit the stair, come off to the side place cones using a window edit, walls around the bot as well, take a right hand peek and take out the bot. This drill starts off with a wall replace. Make sure that you're staying on this side of the wall. So if the opponent were to do a peanut butter edit like this, you can come close and grip the wall to where they can't see you. So take this first wall and then make an edit and place a cone while staying behind a right hand peek. Jump up, take out the bot, and then you're going to perform an edit down just like that, holding walls all the way down. And once you're at the bottom, make a window edit and full box the bot. So we want to stay behind this cone, spray out the wall, and then use our blueprint to edit and place a cone inside. As soon as we take out this spot, immediately place this high wall, make a corner edit, place the cone, and then gripping the wall and using this part of the wall as a right hand peek, jump up and take out the bot. Here we're going to be practicing taking a floor and a cone. It's really important that you don't just take it from below the stair like this. That means a player can easily just edit out, get this wall above you, and then take the high ground. Instead, I want you to come up and then get to the side like this and then start swinging at it. Make sure that each time you do, you pull out your shotgun after each swing. You can also place this wall for extra protection and prevents them from taking that high wall from you. Again, same thing for the floor, and each time just crouching back behind cover and pulling out your shotgun, getting ready for a pre-fire or a shot. Once you take both, make an edit, place a cone and two walls, using this wall still as a right hand peek, take out the bot, and then turn and immediately place this floor and cone. You can then edit through both of these and do the same thing for this bot. For the final drill, we're going to be shooting out an enemy and then trying to box them as they fall. It's really good to have this wall already placed and even to place a cone below it first. That way, once they come through, you can full box, reset this wall, and then take a more protected peek. Once you're done practicing all the drills, you can come into this new free build area and then practice all of those techniques on the bots. Using this map on a consistent basis will 100% help you improve your mechanics and your peace control. So make sure to get practicing as soon as you can.